It's Monday the 7th of April, we're looking at a weekly chart of gold as we start a new week. You can see we've just held on to this trend line here which goes back to the 28th of, 26th of November last year. Uh, we bounced off there quite nicely and that candle actually is uh, quite positive, the, 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 lower, the spike lower and then the higher close. So it's quite a good sign for uh, gold for, as we start a new week. Um, as I flick to the daily chart, we uh, further positive, we managed to get through these little highs here that we saw at 12.94, 12.95, that resistance, and we broke through the 200 day moving average on Friday, which was very nice. As I said, a close above here would be a good positive signal. So we now need to hold above here today. As I say, this 200 day moving average is around 12.97, 12.96. We've got these little highs here just at 12.94, 12.95. So that whole 12 mid 1290 area is good support today and we would be hoping to see that hold uh, we could even use that as a buying opportunity if, if we dip that far you can see daily stochastics are looking a bit more positive and even the MACD is about to turn positive uh, short term chart we look at the four hour we had uh, we had we were looking for this uh, inverse head and shoulders to form you can see this left shoulder here the head in the middle the right shoulder here that's very positive we've broken above the neckline now so uh, it does look quite positive for gold in the short term, but you can see we have got Fibonacci resistance here, resistance here around the 1304 area and that pretty much held on Friday on that rally. So we need to hold above the mid 1290s. We need to get the th mid through the mid sort of 13 the 1305 area and then we can push on to 1309.10 and, and further up into the teens. Um, if we start breaking below 1294, 1293, however, that is going to be a problem for gold and we'll be back revisiting the mid-1280 area, I would have thought.